Hey everyone, it's Dylan, and we've got a little bit of a different video. We're doing a start to finish process on these dining chairs that we've designed. So we've been working on these chairs for probably about a month, and we decided to put it all together in one video. It's kind of our first time we've done this start to finish, and we're going to show you the whole process of assembling these solid wood frames and kind of the, the joinery style we use. We're going to show you how we used our CNC and what techniques we did by hand as well because we kind of combined CNC and hand cut techniques in this. Uh, then we also got this custom upholstery done. So this is Italian Eurosoft leather. Uh, the chair frames are walnut. Uh, it's, this is a pretty, pretty awesome video. We're pretty pleased with how it turned out. So let us know what you guys think of this chair design and if you'd like to see more videos like this in the future. Hey everyone, so we have been working away, well Brad mostly has been working away today on our chairs. So I thought I'd give you guys a little bit of a walk around at what he's got going on uh, and show you the different components. But this is going to be the first ever chair design that we've released. So there's Brad there, he's programming. Why don't you show him what you're doing on the machine? Okay, just setting up our first little component run here. I run, want to run the chair bottom pieces of the legs, the bottom of the legs, yeah. double tenoned on the end, yeah. glued together, or not glued together, taped together to accommodate a larger pod to give me more suction to hold them down. In about uh, five to ten minutes, Dylan, I should be ready to run these. Sweet, and then we yeah. got the Maloof joints, right? Yeah, and those are another part of the whole deal going on here. Testing, testing, lots of testing, chair design. Perfect right coming along here's some layout for where we're going to cut our maloof joinery nice. lots going on lots of fun you guys okay so while brad's finishing up on the cnc i'll show you our components so this is going to be our seats uh they are hollow that's because there's going to be a cushion an upholstered cushion with nice fabric that's going over top of this uh, then over here, we've got some of the other components. I, I believe this is a bottom rail on one of the chairs. You guys are going to get to see why we have this piece of maple uh, taped in there. That's actually a dummy piece, but it's just so we can fit one of these large pods to, to hold it instead of one of the small pods. Ten point eight. Pretty close. Yeah. Pretty Basically close. bang on. Go. Okay you guys, these are the chair backs we're gonna be cutting. As you can see, they're taped back to back here. And you can see I've got a filler strip in the middle of these two to allow me to grab these pieces with a larger pod. You'll see as we go through our process, uh, it should be very interesting. There's some really unique cuts on this one as well too, Dylan, so... Yeah. Yeah, because this isn't just a straight block. There's saw cuts too. Oh, is there? Oh, yeah. Cool. Cool. Here's the program, everybody. Right, if you take a look at what we're running here today. Right. I just spent, I don't know, the last 15 minutes writing a whole custom program for, for to cut these pieces. Big big mortise cut in the bottom. We're ready to run our second set of chair components on our much loved Viesi Rover A. Uh, the system that we've opted for on our machine is a pod and rail type system. More versatile for piece of part or pieces and parts and components as opposed to sheet goods you would use a table type system. Ours is pod and rail. This is a vacuum pod system. There's a vacuum pump actuated right now. It, uh, I lay my piece approximately in position. There's some dimples that'll get it, get compressed here, these little balls. Uh, the vacuum itself is actuated by a foot pedal down here now. If I hold my pieces in place, and that pulls the whole thing down here, you guys. Nice.
Dillon has designed and then we figured out some really amazing joinery. Well, as far as we're concerned, it's amazing joinery. Uh, this was a test block to create my corner attachment. Uh, this is our seat base here, done with the Maloof Inspire type joinery. This is our test block. It, uh, we modified our program just a little bit from here. The leg will get attached to the block and then the leg will be glued on as well here too. So I've done all my testing. I'm ready to run the walnut pieces of this test block. test block it's all geometry everything has a little radius line given endpoint so our test block as you can see here when we put that in there I had a little bit of a gap left in here so I worked on some geometry and did another slight little radius change line and give it endpoint and oh, look at that you guys it just fits like a dream okay so we deliberately left the seat frame oversized here. You can see that compared to the legs. I didn't know how much I was going to leave it oversized, but now what it allows me to do on both sides is final fit the frame to the leg size. That's how we're going to do this. Two, three. So then tell them what you're doing with the holes. Yeah, so the last thing we do here, and is as much fun as all this amazing wood joinery is, um, are there strengths and weaknesses in every particular design? Yes, there is. And for longevity, and being a woodworker now since shop when I was 14 years old. How many years? Uh, you know, whatever, <laughs> let's do the math on okay. it. It, um, we're going to use a number 12 by 4 inch long screw when we glue this and screw it into this component of the chair here forever. This will give a longevity of generations by putting this one screw in each spot here. I mean it's possible after 30-40 years it just weakness the chair, maybe the glue joint starts to separate a little bit. With the screw in there, the chair unless it's crushed or broken, it, it will stay together forever with one screw. inspired uh, type of table leg or chair leg joinery and in combination with that we're also pilot holing and we're using a four inch long by number 12 wood screws to add almost a lifelong stability to this chair and the maloof joinery in itself should be plenty strong enough but you know after 40 or 50 years maybe the glue starts to weaken a little bit on a chair this single screw in each leg will hold this together indefinitely paper towel with water to get the glue off 
the reason for the water is just because it doesn't quite smear the glue into the wood grain as much and it actually helps lift it off. Uh, just makes your cleanup a bit easier. stuff really clean cuts like butter if you got sharp tools of course and uh, I'm just gonna dab some glue in there and stick this all the way through you can see that it's a little bit wider than the uh, the whole leg so we'll have a little bit sticking through on the, the inside and the outside and then we're gonna cut a flush after Finishing our chairs here, uh, we're using extra thin Osmo, and this is what it looks like. Interior Corporation. Uh, they did a pretty nice job on these and they did our navy blue Italian Eurosoft leather and now Joe and I are going to fit the two seats onto the black walnut chairs. three chairs are complete. Uh, these are our first three chairs we made like this. You know, we probably should have done some kind of prototype first, but we didn't. We made it out of very expensive wood and very expensive leather. Uh, but overall, they actually turned out perfectly, so we're very pleased. Um, 
the the price on these that's one thing I want to talk about you guys are probably going to ask about um, the chairs that are shown here with walnut and leather these are going to be probably around fifteen hundred dollars Canadian um, we will have an option of these chairs that will probably start around a thousand dollars Canadian so that would be in probably just a maple or ash frame and then with a, a fabric back and seat um, but again let us know what you guys think I'm really pleased with how they turned out and uh, if you guys liked it too, don't forget to leave a like down in, on the video and let us know if you like this new style of start to finish videos.